Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today we're going to be meeting with Valerie. Valerie is in the army and she has a lot of pressures with the physical aspects of that. But also she's really focused and getting motivated about her health and fitness because she was just recently diagnosed with pre-diabetes. We're going to go ahead and hear her story about how she's reversing all of that and starting to now take her health into her control again. Let's go ahead and get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Cord. All right, so let's get started. Um, so Val, you've been in the accountability program for how long now? Since uh, February. I awesome. started, I purchased everything in December and I started in February. That's great. And what was one of the main reasons as to why you joined accountability? Because I'm pretty good with exercises, but I was looking for a program that had more than just that, right? I was looking for something that will teach me as well nutrition. And I didn't know about the mindset piece of the program, but I think it's great. Yeah, that's great. Why do you think it's great? Tell me about your thought about the mindset piece. Because if your mindset is not in the, if your mind is not in the right place, you will definitely not be able to change your lifestyle. This is more of changing the way you see things, the way you've been doing things that you're asking for help is because they have not been working. So yes, I, I feel like to me, that's the most important thing. If your mindset is not in the right place, everything else is going to just not work. Yeah, absolutely. We love the phrase, your body follows your mind. (laughs) That's something we always love to say. Um, I have to share the reason why I actually implemented mindset into this program. I don't know if I shared with you before or not, but for those that are listening, this is a true story. I was a personal trainer and I had about 90% success rate and I loved it. I was so grateful for that, but the 10%, I couldn't sleep. I lost my mind. I just felt like I really needed that final 10%. And it was those members that were really struggling with the mindset piece. And so I spent probably about, I would say about a good decade of just doing self-development work and really understanding the mind. And what I found and what I uncovered was some people will actually hold on to weight as a form of protection. And this was something that was really new to me. And so I learned that it's a way of either space against them and their abuser or against people that may, they might not trust. And so it was very interesting as I walked through that. And so really a, a great healing journey allowed me to uncover that last 10% to be able to get that 100% success rate. And so that's why there's three pillars, the nutrition, the mindset, and the workout. So thanks for sharing that. So when you joined the program, what were the main goals that you were looking to achieve? I wanted to lose my fat. So after giving birth, I am a very active person. So I don't struggle as much with uh, exercises and workouts, but I do struggle with strength training. I was not good uh, lifting at all, weightlifting. I didn't pay attention. I didn't think it was necessary, but I realized that it is. So my main goal was implement strength training and learn how to have the correct and proper form and just make myself a master in that. And I think you're great. Thank you so much because it, it, it really works. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. So why did you start leaning more towards strength training than probably a previous program or cardio before, do you think? Because I realized that no matter how much cardio I will do, you can lose up to so much with cardio. And after that, and it's not sustainable either. You cannot run you can't tell me you can run every single day two or three miles, you know, your body's just going to start breaking apart. (laughs) So I realized that doing just cardio was not enough. And it was not sustainable. Yeah, I always have this theory of where if you're doing cardio, you're going one step forward. But then if you eat something not so good, then you're one step back. Whereas resistance training, my viewpoint on it is you're going two steps forward. And the reason why is because you're building that fat burning machine. And so you can start to be able to burn calories faster than just thinking of just the cardio part. And the resistance training, you, you can also get away with a lot 
less time in the gym because when you're building that lean muscle, you can be burning up to calories up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout, whereas cardio, it doesn't give you that same effect. And so that's something, I mean, maybe my laziness decided for me to start going down the straight training route, but um, I'm glad that you able, were able to see that shift. And so for somebody that's listening that hasn't gone towards the strength training route and they're stuck with the cardio and they're really fighting that on and off cycle of it, what would you suggest or what would you tell them? Try it, try the strength training because you're not only gonna feel better, obviously you're getting stronger and strength training just not only helps losing weight, but there's so many other benefits, right? Um, And it feeds your metabolism. So many things that I learned with you in this program, right? Like when you do strength training, when you lift, you are building muscle and you're helping your metabolism as well. And something that is really big is that I used to not eat enough because I will have that mentality of calories in, calories out. Let me do all this cardio and let me burn all this, right? Versus strength training. I don't have to think about those things. And it's not that it's not important. It's a different dynamic. So I just wanted to say that because ever since I'm doing this, it's just a whole change of perspective of how things work. Give it a chance to strength training. Yeah, absolutely. So going into that, my viewpoint on it is there's either weight loss, or it's body recomposition, which is leaning towards fat loss. That is what I've really seen is the difference because weight loss, you find yourself almost shrinking yourself. But in the process, you start shrinking your metabolism and your confidence and all this other stuff goes with it. And so for me, is going into fat loss and kind of what you're saying, like you're saying it's different. So those that are listening, they're like, what's different? And it really is a shift between unlearning of what the old weight loss direction is versus this new. So what what would you say is your big unlearning of the past that you've kind of started to see as the difference there? Job, I have to stay very active. I have to stay fit, right? And all I was doing before was cardio. And there was always a struggle because I was not as strong as other people or for my type of job. And I, in my head, I will always say, why? If I am fit, I am always, you know, doing my workouts. I'm always in the gym. But it's because I was just focusing on cardio, 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 cardio. So I was not building that muscle. You know, I was just getting skinny. That was it. Yeah, it was really a life changing thing. And let me say this, I never thought I will be able to squat with weights and a barbell. Never in my life I thought I was going to be able to do that. And I'm doing it now. So it is possible. Yes. That feels so good too. When you start getting older and you start getting so down on yourself of all the things that are changing. But what's awesome is when you can start reversing that and you can start feeling the strength and all these little tiny ways of progression. It allows you to just realize you can reverse time. You can start stepping into your power and your strength. You know, we get in our heads and we oftentimes are just thinking so down on ourselves. It's so, it's so true to get into that. So thanks for sharing. I'm going to give this little quick diagram here. This is what I share with a lot of the accountability members. As far as some of the things that allowed me to kind of see the difference, like what is your goal? And this is what I ask people in the accountability. What is your goal? Are you looking for weight loss? Because if you're looking for weight loss, this is what you really look. You just want to be a certain number on the scale. You just want to be light when someone picks you up. You're okay to be soft skinny, which means you're going to lose all your curves and all that muscle mass. And you're okay just to be squishy fat. And you're okay with having less energy and less control over your body because you're going to find yourself with a lower metabolism, which is going to create that more like yo-yo up and down roller coaster effect of your weight loss journey. But fat loss is you have a goal. You want to be more toned, defined, and sculpted. You want to be stronger. You want your clothes to fit better. You want to have more energy. And you want to have more control over your weight and how you feel. Would you agree? I absolutely agree. I have never felt like I was in control of what I was eating and how my life was going before. Uh, Because I was just so restricted. In my head, I was just, I had to live in the gym, almost sleep in the gym, being active. Oh, I'll punish myself if I grab a cookie. No, this is like 300 calories. Let me go to the gym and burn the 300 calories. Again, not sustainable, painful. Yeah. So um, what, it's different. 
Yeah. So what, what have you tried in the past that failed you, whether it's diet or whether it's like workout stuff? I think I've tried every single thing that is out there. <laughs> Diets, uh, workouts, just cardio, uh, type of like a laser that will help you lose it on your waist. None of that worked. And if it did, it was just for a very short period of time. It was all morning fasting and then break your fasting around one. That was my first meal, but I didn't have the energy and I didn't have the energy to work out. And I was just so hungry and very in a bad mood in the mornings. Like, don't talk to me because I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> so, the hangry, the hangry oh, is kicking in. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then I will feel like I want to eat the world. But yeah. I had to restrict myself again. Oh, I'm fasting. I can eat, but this little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, intermittent fasting has been a very common one lately. And a lot of people are just using it to use it as like a quick fix to hurry up and skip to their goals, which they're actually left with, like you just mentioned, hangry, their energy is plummeting, and also their metabolism is going down with it because most of them aren't getting the right amount of protein. So let's dive into how did you really want to reach your goals? Meaning like you obviously wanted to probably have more energy, but what are some other things that you wanted to join a program that worked for you? What did that look like? This is the definition of the program that I, <laughs> so let me explain it. Uh, it's a very wholesome program. Like I told you before, I say wholesome because you have everything that implies for you to lose weight, but in a healthy way to change your lifestyle. Because to me, this is more of a healthy lifestyle. You you could lose weight in, a, in two weeks, three weeks. And then go back to it the next month because you didn't change your mindset, because you didn't change your ways. And the good thing about this program is that you're not only learning how to do the workouts, but you're learning how to eat. You're learning how to think about things, right? And to me, this is the definition of how a program should look to lose fat, you know, to lose the weight and live a better lifestyle. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. So what would you say were your biggest struggles before, whether it be consistency or knowledge? What was what was your biggest struggles? That's an interesting question, because I thought my biggest one was mindset. But I am starting to realize that it was not really mindset. It was nutrition. I thought I knew how to eat, but I didn't. <laughs> And it wasn't until I started talking to you that I realized how protein deficient I was. So I thought I was eating healthy, but it was really high in fat, or it was just a disproportion. It's not just making sense. The things that I'm getting from you, wow. <laughs> I would say nutrition is my biggest win so far. Yeah, that was actually my next question. Like, what are your biggest wins so far? If you could brag and really just kind of celebrate yourself for just a moment, because oftentimes as women, we don't really brag. We're always kind of suppressing and pushing ourselves down. But taking this time and just really reflecting on the last couple of months and what this has been like for you, what you've been doing to really spotlight you, what are your wins so far? So my biggest one is that I will always say that I was weak. Say, no, I can't do that because I'm weak. I am not weak. So I've learned that I have so much strength that I thought, and I can't do just as much as other people is doing. I can pick up the barbell, I can put weights, I can squat. And I lost over three inches in my waist. And I thought I was never going to happen. I have to say, I was kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> but over three inches in my waist after giving birth, I thought that was a miracle. Have those three big wins. Uh, learning how to how to eat better and putting more protein in my plate. Three That's inches cool. and the strength. So I think uh, around our second call, we found that you had a little bit of some perfectionism to you, uh, which a lot of clients that actually join in have that perfectionism. Why do you think that perfectionists really gravitate to this program? That is a good question. I like that quote that you said, uh, progression over perfection. And that really, it clicked on me, right? When I saw it, because I know I'm perfectionist. I know that. And I was the type of person that if I messed up during the day, 
then I'm like, oh, forget about it because I already messed up. So I'll just go all the way now. This is because progression over perfection. Yeah. Yeah. I found that oftentimes, I mean, perfectionist really has excelled you in a lot of areas, but just as our, our greatest strength can also be one of our weaknesses, it can be our Achilles heel sometime. And what I've noticed is some of those perfectionists out there, we can tend to overthink. And then when we overthink, then we just don't do. And so we can get caught up in all of the little details. And then we're like, oh, I don't even know. So then we don't do it. And so I think that is something common that I find is when I can sit down with a perfectionist and be like, hey, look, you're really into the details. Let's like take it back a notch and think of that progression that you just said and focus more of like a step by step. It allows that perfectionist to kind of go, oh, okay, like we're in movement, we're growing, we're getting there rather than this like really extreme because that's kind of the world that a lot of us in the weight loss journey have come from is this all in all out mindset. Either I'm on a program, I'm off a program, I'm on a diet, I'm off a diet. And that extreme way of thinking has really led to a lot of, I would say turmoil inside of just like really a lot of ups and downs. And so we're trying to really bridge the gap and try to find the balance where being able to go, hey, what does the progression look like? So what would you say, Val, is your biggest progression that you really was like that one step that allowed you to go, ah, ah? I have a couple. Um, the one that just came to my mind, because I am very perfectionist. I like how you <laughs> brought me to reality when we were talking. <laughs> and here my perfectionist self came. You were asking me, like, what kind of bread did you eat this morning? <laughs> and I said, oh, I got this one. But then I started talking about, do I need to have it like whole wheat or whole grain? Which one is better? I'm going too much into the details right now. I have to say that just not going that much into every single detail to me is my biggest progression because uh it's been such a help having you to remind me don't go so far not yet <laughs> so yeah yeah so, and yeah. i yeah there's, there's a difference between like a beginner and then like a bikini competitor right and oftentimes we might have followed a program that's like don't eat fruit when for a beginner, that'd be absolutely a great idea is to start eating fruit. But for a bikini competitor, okay, yeah, let's start taking the fruit away as you're about ready to step on, on stage. So there's the, all these steps in between that somebody that is just trying to stop eating fast food gets really caught up into all these extreme details. And it's like, well, where are you in the journey? And really, what are your goals? So I love being able to walk you through that and seeing, okay, well, wait a minute, those are those are great, but maybe on like step number seven, we'll get there. But let's like dial it into like what you need to know now, which has been really cool. So I have another question and I want you to get really passionate about this one. What will you never do again? So for example, I interviewed Wendy on here and she literally was like, I will never diet again. So I want you to think about it for a second. Things that like you'll never do again, that's almost like weigh myself again or I'll never sit and just self on cardio again or whatever it is that like really syncs with you. Just say it, I will, and then fill in the blank. Well, I have a couple now that you said that. You can't, you can't give me all these ideas and then expect just one. <laughs> Tell me all of them. Tell me all the ones that you'll never do again. Okay, okay. So for a fact, I will never kill myself doing cardio ever again. And I will never weight myself every day like I was doing again. Definitely no. And I will never restrict myself with food ever again. Because it's not about a restriction. It's learning how you put your food in your plate. That's it, you know? So, so yes, I have three. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, let me think if I, if I have mine. Mine were... Never weighing myself again. I don't remember the last time I've weighed myself. I would say another one would be compare myself to other women anymore. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for bringing that up, too. Why am I comparing myself to others? I'm doing it constantly. If she's doing this, I should be doing this. Why is she losing weight so fast? Why am I so far behind? Wow. Yes, I will never do that again. I haven't even think about comparing myself to anybody anymore. Yeah. So if somebody's listening and they're on the fence, 
they're really like, you know what? I've been doing this cardio thing. I've been hearing this podcast for some time about stop doing cardio and to do all these things. And they're like, you know, I've been looking into the coaching program, but I want to hear it from Valerie. Valerie, what would you tell somebody if it was kind of like the old version of you or maybe somebody that you just know that's just really struggling? What would you tell them about taking action? I will ask that person, or if it was me, right? What you're doing, is this sustainable? Does this work for a long time or just for how long is this thing that you're doing works, right? And do you really know everything like you think you know everything? Because that was my biggest thing. Like I've learned so much. Like I said, my biggest win to me is, is, is nutrition, right? I thought I had it, but I didn't. So if you're really thinking about it, I would say give it a chance. Because it's not just only learning how to have the proper form or how to do this workout. It's a life-changing program. And I say this and I mean it. It's a life-changing program. You're not going to find this everywhere. I haven't seen it. And I've tried a lot of things. Give it a chance. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thanks, Val, for being on. I'm a little emotional seeing your progress photos and your mindset journey through this and all the little aha moments along the way. I just want to let you know, you make my job really fun and easy. Um, your higher self had to be at that point in your life that said, I'm ready for change. I can be a phenomenal coach, but if I don't have a phenomenal member, that's just not going to work. <laughs> so I, you. I just want to say that in order for us to have done this, I feel like there had to have been a beautiful timing in both of our lives to have created this shift to then have created such a great, beautiful transformation for you moving forward. And I will say that one thing that I really appreciate too is generation after generation after generations are experiencing a bunch of trauma. And what I truly feel is the stopping of that is the healing of us individually. And that is what you're doing in my eyes is that you're taking that time, that prioritizing yourself and really turning around and looking in the mirror because you are the nucleus of everything around your world. And oftentimes we want to change everything and everyone else. But the fact that you did something that looked into you is beyond words for me to express. So thank you for not only creating a powerful in you that will then start to create that ripple effect. So I really appreciate it and really thank you for joining the program. No, I want to say thank you. You're awesome. And the fact that you get 24 hour access to your phone, who does that? <laughs> I'll be texting in the middle of the night. So you are amazing and you're very passionate and very dedicated to, to what you're doing. And it shows like I told you before. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Val, you're awesome. I appreciate you. Well, thanks for your time. You go have an amazing rest of your weekend and we'll chat soon. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. You have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said, that's it. I'm going to make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're going to love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.